Hi Filipinas and great day world as promised this is the part 1 The Concise Laws of Human Nature by Robert Greene I will be sharing here my New Year's Eve table preparation while sharing the part 2 of our book lesson So tara! So was there a time that you felt you have no solid accomplishments? We often feel anxious and stressed pero hindi natin alam kung bakit all of us want to believe that there is some purpose and meaning to our life, that we are connected to something larger than ourselves. Without that conviction, we experience an emptiness and depression that we will ascribe to other factors. So here are the five strategies for developing a high sense of purpose. First, discover your calling in life. Maumbisan mo ang strategy na ito by looking for signs of premial inclinations in your earliest years when they were often the clearest. Ito yung mga moments na you are particularly fascinated by a particular subject or certain objects or specific activities. Ito yung mga times na hindi kayo need pilitin ng parents nyo or friends nyo gawin. As in, kusa nyo lang siyang gustong gawin. I-exam yung mga times sa life nyo when certain tasks or activities felt natural and easy to you. Second, use resistance and negative spurs. Ang key daw to success in any field ay first, develop skills na pwede mong i-combine later on in unique and creative ways. Sinabi din niya na the more na nagpa-progress ka sa iyong path or life, the more na magiging subject ka sa mga criticisms ng ibang tao. Some of them might be constructive and worth paying attention to, pero karamihan sa mga criticisms na ito ay nagmumula sa inggit na nararamdaman ng ibang tao. Pag na-recognize mo na ang trick dyan, ay huwag nyo i-internalize ang criticism in any form. Use their negative opinions to motivate you. Number three, absorb purposeful energy. We humans are extremely susceptible to the moods and energy of other people. For this reason, mas gugustayin mo na lumayo sa mga ganitong klase ng tao who have a low or false sense of purpose. On the other hand, gugustayin mo na makahanap ng mga tao or to associate with those who have a high sense of purpose. Sila yung perfect to be your mentor or teacher or even partner on a project. Sila yung mga tao who will bring out the best in you. You want to find people who are pragmatic and not merely those who are charismatic or visionaries. Possible, collect around you a group of people from different fields as friends or associates who have similar energy. Matutulungan yung isa't isa to elevate one another's sense of purpose. Do not settle for virtual associations or mentors. Number four, create a ladder of descending goals. Para mamanage ang inyong anxiety, dapat mag-create kayo ng ladder of smaller goals along the way. Such objectives are simpler and you can realize them in relatively short time frames, giving you moments of satisfaction and a sense of progress. Remember that what you are after is a series of practical results and accomplishments, not a list of unrealized dreams and aborted projects. Number five, lose yourself in the work. Ang greatest difficulty daw na kakaharapin mo sa pagmimaintain ng high and consistent sense of purpose ay yung level of commitment mo that is required over time and the sacrifices that go with this. Kailangan mo daw ng moments of flow in which your mind becomes so deeply immersed in the work that you are transported beyond your ego. Second, kailangan mong pagplanuhan on giving yourself uninterrupted time with work, as many hours in the day as possible, and as many days in the week. For this reason, you had to rigorously eliminate the usual level of distractions, even plan on disappearing for a period of time. The emphasis must be on the work, never on yourself or the desire for recognition. Yan lang eh, Lester. Sana may natutunan kayo sa book lesson natin tonight from Robert Greene's The Concise Law of Human Nature. Yan lang eh, Lester. Laters! Thank you for watching, eh, Lester. Please like, share, and subscribe. Laters!